Welcome to Red Mountain, British Columbia. This is day three, an absolutely epic snowstorm. The upper mountain lifts were shut down this morning, but that doesn't matter because we found some phenomenal terrain here on the side of Red Mountain. And Richie and Steve are gonna ski it right now. There's Steve. A lot of snow still coming down all day long like this. Steve has been absolutely tearing it up. Look at those quick turns. Nice edge set and release. There's Jeff down there. He didn't want to be on video. He's uh, a little bit new to skiing deep, heavy powder. Mojo! He's got the mojo going. Nice mojo, brother. He's got the snow ranger. No, I'm sorry. He switched to the heli ski. Oh, he got back. Nice recovery. Here he goes. Tough turn, this first turn. Yeah, it's a tough one. Whoa! He's okay. Yeah. Holy cow, where's the ski? I think I'm putting my powder cords on after that one. Uh, you got a tree right in the mouth. Right the mouth. Uh, open up your lips there. Ooh. <laughs> now they're all there. Oh, man. I had a little piece of uh, hemlock branch between my teeth. Oh. Okay, let me give you a little freshies here. He's charging now. He's got a bloody mouth. Down those trees. You move the tree stout. There we go. He's a nut. Oh, we love him. Go living in your own time in Idaho. Living in your own time in Idaho. Nice turn. She makes it look easy. Ooh, this is tree skiing. He luck. And he's got the turns, he's got a lot of things in his quiver. A lot of tricks, just pulls them out now and then. You're the director. Respect. Spent. We got Jeff Haynes. Hair Jeff Haynes to you, Mister. The Vico man. Well, what's that? Yeah, that, that's how we used to do it in the old days, boys. Yeah, we've all done that. A spectacular view out my window. Here's the, here's the two mountains that we're skiing. Red Mountain on the right, Granite Mountain on the, on the left. And the, it's the steeper of the two, obviously, the bigger mountain. 3,000 vertical. And over here, Red Mountain. Right over here in that treed area is where I uh, planted my face into a pine tree. Somewhere down in there. You ready? Oh, no, no. 
<laughs> oh, please don't. No. Not another powder day. powder. Instead we got about two inches of wet, cruddy powder. And visibility very, very low. So we're skiing on the trees to try and uh, accommodate that. I can't buy no beer. You can barely well, see him. It looks like Jack. With the bucket in my hand I'm just looking for a woman that ain't got no man my book has got a plant, hole stick em, in plant, it. Stick em. Yeah, my book has got a hole in it. My book has got a hole in it. I can't Richie. find no beer. Yes, I went up on the mountain. I looked down on the sea. I seen the crabs and what the fish doing the beep by beep. Cause my book has got a hole in it. Even a little yeah, tail. my book has got a hole. shoot. Uh, we came down through the steep part, through the trees up there, but we couldn't video that. It was a little uh, too difficult. So we're going to try it right now. Right down the fall line. Go to the right of me. The wrong side of me, dude. Here goes Steve. 
is about 25 turns up the hill. You hear a little bit of scraped off hard pack below here. Oh, he got some air. He's ripping it up. He's, he's lost his whistle though. Oh, there was a big, big airplane turn. Sweet, sweet. Big hop turn. Let's just watch him do his magic. No comment, there's no comment needed on this. Quick turns. We got some nice large trees here, uh, lodgepole pine. Here we are, the snow fields of Beer Belly. This is the Beer Belly and we got Richie on the trail. Richie's coming down, he's skiing pretty well. It's foggy, it's loose, it's deep, and steep. Look at him go, make some turns and, oh, hard to hold the camera on him. Oh, wild run, wild run. Into the trees. Sneak into your home when you least expect to see unless you claim nice run it's don don's skiing a little hard today his goggles are cracked they're fogged the coating's messed up on him nice turns though he's getting them down there he goes oh nice stuff the lord of lords Jeff. Jeff's skiing like an animal this whole week. His legs are a little tired today, but he's getting better. He's digging the turns. He's got the right mental attitude. When it's all to shame, little snowballs hit me in the side of the head, rolling down the mountain. There he goes. He's got the flying eagle arms going. There they are. He's going to take off. Spirits of darkness run Jeffrey the Eagle. When you call on Jesus' name, let not your hearts be troubled. Right. Beer belly. Unholy game, though the spirit of fear come after so tell us where we are. Red Mountain, bottom of beer, beer belly. Bottom of beer, eh? Yeah, these are the woods on the run out. Here it is. Maybe if you're lucky, uh, you can come along. How can we be at the bottom of beer, beer belly when it looks like the beer belly's right there, eh? Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. Hey. So, you guys, uh, if you guys out in TV land there would like to ski with us, maybe you could join us on this run. What do we got here? A little tree run out back to uh, Long Squat Trail? That's correct. I'll show you how it's done. You guys going to ski it? I'm going to try and ski with this camera. All right. All right. That's going right. to be a little scary. I'm a little scared right now. I'm going to have so, to stay uh, fairly close. Don't go too crazy. Let me just think here. I'm going uh, to sign off for a second. Already? Already. Everybody say hey. Hey. Okay, hey. Okay, All right, hey. Jeff, go through here. 
with my fifteen hundred dollar camp corner. Woo. I'll go down around this way. Oh, 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 oh! visibility we came over to an area called pale face which is right on the south side of the mountain it's also near uh, snow fields and we're gonna cruise down through here a bit Okay, we're in the lower part of Pale Face. Pretty foggy, tight trees up here and it's steep. This thing is steep. And then we got Don and Richie. Somewhere, uh, yeah, there he is. Okay, that's uh, Jeff or Tony or Molly or Mary or Steve or someone. There's a lot of powder up there. 
a little heavy. Look at him go, man. Woo -wee. It's a tough skiing day today. Tight here. Yeah, it's tight. tight, it's steep. There he is. Now I'm staying in the trees. You can hear the branches rustling on my head. That was a tight spot. There he goes. Very technical. Okay, it was tight though. Yeah. Hey, Richie. Oh, there he is. Oh. Right. Woo wee. Yeah. Oh. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> Cook it. Yeah. This guy's unflappable. Yeah. This is uh, Pale Face, Red Mountain, and uh, we're just below this rock band here. We're all standing up there looking for a way down. Don might hook it right off of there. We've got Richie uh, over here on an easier entrance. Here goes Richie, he went almost off the back. His classic Corvitz Kawar entrance. Some nice turns here though. And he, he took the long way around the tree. But there he goes. He's going to do a better route than Richie, I hope. Rainbow country. Rainbow country. Rainbow country. Rainbow country. Rainbow country. Rainbow country. A little snowboarder country. action here. Rainbow country. Rainbow country. The Hockmeister. Here he goes. Ah! A digger. Put this up again. Abuse you. What to be got to be. Feel like dancing. Yeah, digger. Feel like jumping. Feel like dancing. I feel like jumping. It's not bad for a couple of guys from New Jersey. <laughs> I want you to come this way. <laughs> I was here too! <laughs> a little heavy. That's heavy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that thing on your chin? It's a moss in the trees. I can't seem to scrape it off. Yeah? Looks like you got moss on your tongue too. Oh. Did Rick just go by? I don't know. What'd you think? Awesome. I got snow down my back. Come to BC. You want to ski? This is the place. Pale face. Red Mountain, British Columbia, 2004. I highly recommend it. All right, here we are at our famous, our favorite after lunch spot. This is a traverse heading from the Paradise Lodge. Uh, out to the exhibition trail with numerous opportunities to drop in untracked snow between the lodge and the exhibition itself. A lot of nice lines here. Tight long traverse. We've been on this traverse for about five minutes. Probably about, uh, I don't know, 400, 500 yards in so far. We've got maybe 100 yards to go. How's the uh, snow quality over there? Looks pretty, uh, a little bit heavy, but uh, pretty nice. Deep though. Yeah, look at that. How deep? Give, give us a pole depth. Depth check. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. Upper thigh. Yep. Yeah. Not that deep. Yeah, you want to hike up deep. there. You got a snowboard. You can hike up, hike up, and get some nice turns. Take a shot looking up here, Don. Yeah. And up and down. Oh man, that's nice. Cuckoo Pow Dog. I wish I had the old wide angle lens on right now, but. Cuckoo Pow Dog. That looks nice. 
Yeah, if we were up there, we'd ski down through this. All right, I'll lead the way. Leave some signature tracks in the snow. I'll lead the way, okay? Okay. okay. Um, all right. Here we go. A lot of compression washboard bumps through here. Some of these are really deep. This one, ah, that's not too bad. The hill. Look at all this stuff here, very nice. This is sort of like the high traverse at Alta. Except if you slip off, it's not as steep and you're not going to slide 800 feet. Had some snowboarders coming down through here. There's one possible, uh, one possible uh, line we could take down here. Continue on. And we got Jeff behind us. Going up the rear. Right up here, that little orange ribbon is, there was a big stump sticking out the other day. You had to turn yourself sideways to go through there. Somebody cut it down. Now we're almost at exhibition. We went too far? Ah! Okay, we went too far. All right, dudes, dude, dude. Oh, well. We went too far. This is where we ended up. Not a terrible place to be. Ski down here, get about 30 turns. From here all the way down to the uh, trailer. Okay, here we are, exhibition. This is Roberts. Can't see much up there. This mountain just goes up and up. The three amigos. Epic, the epic crud boys trip, low budget, dirt bag boys trip to British Columbia. Where are we? Red Mountain exhibition, right down to the Paradise Chair. There it is. Yeah, that's the way it's done. All right, who's my next sucker? Back in ski mode. Yeah, nice, nice powder, knee deep, a little bit heavy. He's working the turns. Here we are, Red Mountain. A little bit of uh, out of bounds backcountry skiing here.
digger. But he pulled it off. A digger recovery. I ski down with the pack, of course. You're not going to see that. Richie's a powder skier. The mojo, he's got the mojo! On 14, it's Richie. He's all geared up, too. Hey, you're not gonna sting me, are you? Okay. All right, well, have a look around here. Pretty well fogged in. Pretty tough, uh, pretty tough visibility here. Oh, where am I an owl? Look, my head goes all the way around. Is Richie. Okay, we found an interesting way into Doug's. Got a little chute here. Pretty steep, but uh, very skiable. And, um, okay. Here goes Steve. Whoa. He chooses the tough line. Oh, tough line, but he did it. He pulled it out nicely. Got a lot of snow creatures down there. Yeah. Here's Jeff. Might take the slightly more sane route coming through by the big snow hump here. Decision time. Yeah. There you go. He took the sane route. <laughs> Steve blowing the whistle. Well, you know, it's it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Day five. Three o'clock in the afternoon. And everybody's a little tired. Oh, they're gonna leave me behind. They're taking off on me. Bunch of pirates. Let him sleep. 